Good evening, my true crime fans. I have a Halloween horror story this evening just for you. This one is a deadly exorcism. In August 2016 in North London, 26-year-old Kennedy Ice began acting strange and aggressive following a pain in his throat. He reportedly bit his father, threatened to cut off his own penis, and complained of a python or a snake inside of him before his family restrained him to bed with cable ties and excessive force. The family then set about attempting to cure Kennedy through restraint and prayer over the next three days, the court was told. His brother Colin I told police, it's clear that thing was in him. What we believed was a demon because it was not natural. It was clearly trying to kill him. We had to restrain him for himself. It was clear if we didn't restrain him, he could have tried to harm people in our family. Kennedy had been bound to his bed for three days without medical attention when his brother called emergency services, explaining that Kennedy was complaining of dehydration. He appeared to have developed breathing issues and was pronounced dead at 10.17 a.m. All seven of Kennedy's family members were accused of manslaughter, false imprisonment, and causing or allowing the death of a vulnerable adult. A post-mortem examination revealed over 60 wounds, including a possible bite on Kennedy's body, and his father, Kenneth, along with four of his brothers, sustained injuries as well. What do you think could have happened in the room over those three days? And sometimes family is better to be the one you pick as friends.